So, step three. You have the potential for greatness. Gerti wrote it this way. Whatever you can dream or do, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Gerti said, whatever you can dream or do, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. I promise you that is the truth. You can do it. You can do virtually anything, and you have no excuse, furthermore, for not doing it. You live in a country that will allow you, that will assist you. And not only will it allow you and assist you, but when you put your mark down and when you put a worthy goal before yourself and you begin to lead toward it, all manner of people will join you and assist you. But before you begin to be assisted, you'll have to face the group that I call the Fellowship of the Miserable. And you'll have to face them every day. And they're awesome. And here's what they say. You can't do that. You're just a woman. Oh, you're, just a, you're just a person of color. You can't, no, no, no. Hey, Curry, don't ever have uh, a black quarterback. I had people pull me aside and say that to me. I said, what are you talking about? You ever heard of Donovan McNabb? No, they had not heard of Donovan McNabb. We don't even talk about it anymore. Oh, don't ever, you can't, Atlanta can't have an African-American mayor, right? We gotta learn to think in terms that are beyond what the fellowship of the miserable tells us. The fellowship of the miserable is so caught up in their own horror of their own lives and their insecurities, they are the ones who are only interested in second guessing. They are the ones who are only interested in, t in, in telling you what you cannot do. I had one coach in college. I went to him my fourth year. I said, coach, maybe I'm not studying my plays well enough. He said, no, you know all your plays. I said, well, then maybe I'm not working hard enough. He said, no, you work very hard. I said, well, why am I fourth string in my fourth year at Georgia Tech? He said, because you're not good enough and you'll never be good enough. So just get your education, help us recruit, and be a nice boy. Get out of my office. At the same time he was doing that, I had another coach who would come to the locker room before practice, get me, said, come on, son. And he was the varsity line coach. His name was John Robert Bell. He was the varsity line coach. And he would say, Bill, I want to take you down to the practice field if you'd like to come and we'll go early. And I want to work on your footwork and help you to be a better center. Because I think you've got the potential in you. I think you've got it in you to be really good. You might even be a great center someday. I said, really? I wasn't capable of thinking those thoughts for myself. I needed somebody to lead, to encourage me, to breathe life into my possibilities. And that's what John Robert Bell did. So when I was playing in the fourth world championship game, who do you think I thought of? When I was playing for the Green Bay Packers and the Baltimore Colts, because somebody loved me when I was unlovely? 